your back's against the wall and you don't know what you're gonna do my lord this trial you're facing seems like the worst thing that you've been through you feel single out in the battle and your will to fight is almost gone well, there's one in your corner, he's never failed. Don't give up, child, keep pressing on. In the midst of the storm, he floats, peace, be still, and the winds lay at his feet. Oh, yeah. With two little fish and five loaves of bread, he was five thousand years. He made the blind man to see, he set the captive men free. To this world he was heaven sent. So when you doubt all you can, remember Jesus can do all that you can. When we gather in heaven yeah. and our battle with life is through. Oh my. Lord, my God. Should we swap old boy stories? Well, there's one oh, I'd yes. like to share with you. Oh, yes. Yes. About that night at the crossroads. Oh, yes. Amen. When you say the yes. vows that I would lose. But then I hand out of nowhere oh, oh, to bring oh, up oh, and one more time. I may.
God. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Yes. Amen. 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 <laughs> amen. Thank God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> God is saying when you do all that you can, He's going to do the rest. Amen. All God Thank wants God. us to do is do what we want. Supposed to do, yes. and God is gonna do the rest. Yes. And Sister Marty was right here when I when I came. I was I said I'm sad when I heard. I was sad, but I was glad. Yeah. Now, which one should I take? Should I take the sadness, or should I take, should I take the gladness? Yes, yes. I'm sad because he's no longer with us, but I'm glad because he's in heaven. Yes. He's not yes. sick. Yes. He's, there's no bone aches. No. There's no pain. No. There's no headaches. Amen. Amen. Thank Lord, God, amen. Praise, God. praise God. So amen. God is saying that then it was a hurricane all of a sudden coming this way. I said, we got to get on our knees and pray for y'all. Since we heard that the hurricane coming y'all way, Lord bless them. Lord, help them out to have that hurricane destroy the saints. Yeah. That, that hurricane just went the opposite way yeah. from y'all. It could have yeah. been your houses and everything could be down. But yeah. God took a, took a look out for you. Yeah. And then we was in our apartment. All of a sudden, bling! Bling, bling. Mm. Aria, you got to get out. Aria, get out. Come on, Aria, let's go. Dear, let's go. Let's get out of here. Mm. My Lord. We didn't know what the, the departments was going to blow up. Right. We didn't know, though. We didn't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we end up getting out on time. It was the elder people. And my wife, she went in. She had a wheelchair in the bottom of the apartment complex. And they couldn't get out. My wife and my daughter went in there and helped them. But I'm, I said, praying because they going in to help them, and they couldn't get out. They could, be, they they risked their lives yes. to save another person. Mm -hmm. And I was praying, you know, Lord, get them out of different things. And nobody else but another young man went in there, and they end up getting them out. Mm, and here comes the fire truck, and it was it was just. The water system was messed up. But all of these things, and then traveling here, as we get ready to get here, our car just, just cut us right off there. And we, we rented a minivan, I said. And then trying to get here, it was a car blew up. And all those things. And I thank God, God, the mercy of God, yes. the blessings yes. of God, yes. the backing of God, how yes. God backs us and have yes. our backs. Yes. And looking out for us all the time. And we can yes. just cast everything on him and God will help us. Some situation, finances, difficulties, mm -hmm. on the job situation. Yes. And this is a this guy that I got on the job. It's like, it's the devil. The, the devil that got in. I, God helps me every day. I got to make sure I got to be prayed up mm -hmm. before I go. God, yeah. be patient with yeah. this. Yeah. Elder God, give me patience. Yeah. And he give me patience with him. My and Lord. Children and different things. He give me Favor with the children, and God has been blessing. So, so I know every day I got to be praying. And the devil is trying to get all of us. Yeah. That's his job. He's trying to get all of us to go back on God. Mm -hmm. But thank God we don't have to go back. Yeah. And thank God heaven is going to be worth it all. Amen. So yeah. the in a better place. It's going to be worth it all. Yeah. She, she, if she was here, say, don't, don't, don't give up on God. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about me, son. Ain't no knee hurt. Ain't no back hurt. Mm -hmm. Ain't no hip hurt. It's nothing hurt. Ain't no toothache or nothing. I'm not even in pain no more. So hold on and hold out and, and keep going. Yeah. And I'll see you in heaven. That's what you would think. Praise God. Yes. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. I'm running. I'm running, yes. troubles and trials will soon be over, yes. but oh, I won't give up the battle, oh, I just had to make it to the other side, yes. I'm oh, running, yes. I'm running, yes. troubles and trials yes. will soon be over, yes. I'm running, I won't give up the battle, I just had to make it to the other side. this man, but I'm so glad. I just had to make it to the other side. He lost the soul that he thought he had. Oh, I just had to make it to oh, the my. other side. Yeah. One thing for certain that I've done wrong. 
I just had to make it to the other side. I stayed in sin and waited too long. Oh, I just had to make it to the other side. That's right. I'm running, I'm running. Yeah. Troubles and trials will soon be over. Amen. Yeah. I won't give up the battle. Oh, I just had to make it to the other side. Satan tries to turn me right. Oh, yeah. I just have to make it to the other side. But I'm determined to win my crowd. Oh, I just have to make it to the other side. I lay sideways that hold me down. Oh, I just have to make it to the other side. I'm pressing my way to higher ground. Oh, I just have to make it to the other side. That's why I'm running. Amen. I'm running. Oh, yeah. Troubles and trials will soon be over. I'm running. I won't give up the battle. I just have to make it to the other side. I lift up my head and what do I see? I just have to make it to the other side. But all of heaven cheering me. Amen. I just have to make it to the other side. Jesus is standing with arms stretched wide. I just have to make it to the other side. Giving me grace to stand the time. Oh, I just have to make it to the other side. That's why I'm running. Oh, yeah. I'm running. Amen. Troubles and trials will soon be over. I'm running. I won't give up the battle. I just have to make it to the other side. I don't have time to fuss and pout. I just have to make it to the other side. I don't have time for fear and doubt. I just have to make it to the other side. Sometimes I have to pray and cry. I just have to make it to the other side. I want to reach my home on high. Oh, I just have to make it to the other side. That's right. I'm running. Yeah. I'm running. Amen. Troubles and trials will soon be over. I'm running. I won't give up the battle. I just have to make it to the other side. Jesus is coming and it won't be long. I just have to make it to the other side. The saints will join me in that heavenly throne. Oh, I just have to make it to the other side. Yes. When I get to heaven, shall I look for you? I just have to make it to the other side. If you want to get there, you better run to Oh, I just, just have to make it to the other side. That's why I'm, I'm running. I'm running. Troubles and trials will soon be over. I'm running. I won't give up the battle. I just have to make it to the other side. That's why I'm, I'm running. Oh, yeah. Running. Amen. Troubles and trials will soon be over. I'm running. I won't give up the battle. Amen. I just have to make it to the other side. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, saints. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. According to my phone, I have another minute before it's afternoon. <laughs> so good morning, six. Good morning. Of course, this is a difficult time. Yes, it is. Um, change is always difficult. So Jane, I think mentioned it the other day. Change is always hard. No one likes change. Right. right. Amen. But on the other hand, it's difficult for us. But ultimately, we live knowing that we're going to spend a few days here in this world and that we're going to one day die. That's right. Like God. 
And so, in some sense, as far as she is concerned, amen, she has done well. She did a, uh, she, she finished her course, amen, and her ultimate goal in life was to make it to heaven. Mm -hmm. yeah. However, how, how, however many 72 years or so that she spent on this earth, her ultimate goal, her ultimate desire was to make it to heaven. Amen. Amen. And she's accomplished that. So in, 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 from, for, uh, from our perspective, as Brother Randolph was saying, it, it's, it's painful, it hurts, it's uh, sad, we'll have tears and all those different emotions and so on. But when you stop and all the dust settles, yeah. Amen. One more so has made it home. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 And that's that's really what it's all about. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. 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 We do though want to talk a little bit about change. This morning or afternoon. It's uh inevitable. Everything changes. Yeah. There's uh it's not a it's not a a, a Christian song. But there's a particular song talks about, I remember hearing it when I was in high school, how everything changes, nothing remains the same. And that kind of hit me. Because because after I heard that song and I thought about it, and I, I guess I knew it to some degree anyhow, but, but that, that song caused me to really think about it. Mm -hmm. Everything changes. My Lord. Things come, things go, seasons come, seasons go, people come, people go. My Lord! My God. Everything changes. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And that was really sort of a, I don't know, I don't want to say an eye opening experience, but it, it, it's really something that caused me to pause. Mm -hmm. and, and we get comfortable with the way things are. And, and when change happens, we just don't like it. I've told this story before, I think at least once, when I was in second grade, my teacher's name was Mrs. Titus. <laughs> I love Mrs. Titus. To, to this day, Mrs. Titus is my favorite teacher. <laughs> and when we uh, went to fourth grade, she left second grade and came to fourth grade and I had her again. This was this 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 couldn't work out any better. This was great. <laughs> Unfortunately for us, Mrs. Titus decided that halfway through the school year that she was going to go back to second grade. She didn't want to teach fourth grade anymore. So now we have to deal with change. We're getting a new teacher. We did not want a new teacher. It could have been the best teacher ever, but we didn't want her. We wanted Mrs. Titus. And so Miss Miss Stewart came, and Miss Stewart was was a nice teacher, but we just didn't like her. She she was patient and kind, but she was not Mrs. Titus. By the way, Mrs. Titus, uh, I think I might have told you all. Mrs. Titus ran into my sister, uh, I think a, a few months ago, recent, fairly recently, maybe a couple, two, three months ago or so, mm -hmm. and and she asked about me. So how's David doing? I'm surprised she remembered me. Oh, wow. I said, she remembered me? She said, yeah, she remembered. She asked about you. Like, wow, Mrs. Titus remembered me. But we, we love Mrs. Titus. So Mrs. Stewart came, and we gave her a hard time. Mm. I told her before, we, 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 we would get to have spelling tests. I remember this specifically. And so we would number our page, our, our paper, you know, get up, pay the paper, you number say 1 to 15, or whatever, the, you know, how many questions we had. And, and so she would, you know, number one was, you know, piano, and we would, you know, spell out piano, and, and number two would be, you know, apartment, or, or whatever the words were, and then we would go through the list. After she went through all 15 questions, or 15 words, she would allow for us to raise our hand, and we could repeat, you know, like, I didn't get number eight, presumably, because I was still working on number seven, mm -hmm. so I didn't get number eight. What was number eight? She said, okay, number eight was, you know, automobile, or whatever the word was. So, because we didn't like her, hmm. We just made it a kind of a game about it, and we would just raise our hand to repeat, just just because. Oh my, my lord! Now this is why church children shouldn't try to try to be sneaky because we because we mess things up. So me being a church child, I, I messed it all up for the whole class. What I did was I raised my hand. Presumably, I don't know what 
number 10, I'll just say whatever, whatever the word was, number 10, I didn't know that it was curtain. Presumably, so I needed, I needed, so what I did though, I raised my hand and I said, curtain, I mean number 10. So I did it backwards. And then she, she was like, in other words, I had enough of this, no more repeats. If you don't get the first time, you don't get it anymore. So that was, you know, part of, we, we just did not like Mrs. Stewart and she was a nice lady, but she was not Mrs. Tyler. We did not like the idea of change. Now, I will say this though, when that was fourth grade, when I got to 11th grade, I, I ran into Mrs. Stewart again, and I kind of apologized to her. And she, she was very polite, she understood, she, we laughed about it, and we actually, at least for a short period of time, developed a very good friendship. So it, we did kind of mend fences there. <laughs> but we did not want to change. And sometimes change makes us feel somewhat vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I've told you all in times past about my father and there was always conflict in the home, always contention. I, I, I was just afraid of the man. I, I, I didn't want to be around him. Like he's always angry. And, and, and so when he left, I was, I was happy. I was glad he left because now there was peace in the home. Mm -hmm. But there's, there was to that change, that something else happened that I wasn't expecting. I, I felt insecure or vulnerable at home. I'm a little child. If someone were to come and, uh, you know, uh, come into the house, break into the house, I, I can't do much to, to, to offend them all. Even, even if dad is the, the, the weakest dad on the block, something about having a man in the house, you just feel more secure. Mm -hmm. You just do. Amen. And I felt vulnerable when dad left. Oh, Lord. Amen. Wow. And even to some degree, another major change that took place in my life was when my mother passed. Felt kind of vulnerable. And, and she was like the, the main tree. And, and all my siblings out here were the branches. And we all we kind of kept together because of this main branch. And now that this branch is gone, are we going to just be scattered? And we still keep together, but we're but we're not as close as we were before. Not when mom was there. Not the same. Change. And it, and it makes you feel vulnerable. It does. More on a spiritual level, I remember, I, I, I think it was a Thursday, so Janie, you can correct me, Brother Kenley, did he, it was a Thursday, he passed away. I remember getting the word and that he had passed. And, and I didn't know Brother Kinley as long as some of you, I knew about seven or eight years or so as my pastor. But in some sense, he was kind of like a father figure. Mm -hmm. oh, Lord. <laughs> and so when he passed away, the, the, I don't, you know, you, you, you're saddened, but, but the, the thing that I remember practicing most, I felt vulnerable. I felt like, what are we going to do now? Right, right. My Lord, yes. Amen. We're with, with, I felt like we were without direction. We, how, how do we maneuver through this difficult thing we call life now? Uh, our, our father figure is gone. And I, I, I remember feeling bar. And sometimes other pillars in, in the congregation, they may not even be a minister, but sometimes they just have a, a lot of influence. And when they pass, you, you, feel, you feel somewhat uneasy. You feel uncertain. You feel kind of bothered. Brother Robinson is who I'm referring to now. When he passed, again, I had that same sense. Like, what do we do now? <laughs> My Lord, my God, help for Similar, in a similar way, brother, when Brother Ron passed away, you kind of ask the Lord, what, what do we do now? Uh, which, which way do we go? Mm. My Lord. Mm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And now we come down to March 3rd, 2024. And we're in a similar situation. All of them, Lord, what do we do now? Mm -hmm. And you feel vulnerable. Yes, yes. You feel kind of like, oh, Lord, what does tomorrow hold? 
Yes. Amen. And, and, and I suppose we all have similar type feelings. And we perhaps have all had similar types of feelings in times past. Like what will tomorrow bring? Amen. My Lord. Amen. Change. Change makes us feel uncomfortable. Vulnerable. Turn to first Samuel. The 25th chapter, we're going to just read one verse here. We're going to do a little bit of reading today. We'll try to keep it uh, to a minimum, but we have to do some reading. First Samuel chapter 25, verse number one. Now, you remember Samuel, he was Hannah's son, and he was there with Eli, and God began to speak to him when he was yet with Eli, and he served God all those many years. And, and at some point, uh, the children of Israel began to ask for a king like all the other nations and so on. And the thing displeased Samuel, but God allowed for it, and eventually Saul became the king. And Saul was one that still guided the people of, of God, even guided Saul as best he could. But here in chapter 25 of 1 Samuel, verse number 1, and Samuel died. And all the Israelites were gathered together and lamented him and buried him in his house at Ramah. And David arose and went down to the wilderness of Paran. And so Samuel died. This, this pillar, this one that the people could look to for guidance and direction. My Lord, yes. Amen. They knew he was a man of God, and, and so we can go to him, and if we have a difficult situation, he will know what to do. That's right. He'll go to God for us. Amen. Yes. Amen. And now he's gone. That's a terrible situation they find themselves in. Now, 1 Samuel, stay there. Jump over a few chapters to chapter 28. Verse number 1. 1 Samuel chapter 28, verse number 1. And it came to pass in those days that the Philistines gathered their armies together for warfare, for war, for warfare to fight against Israel. All right, so we have some problems now. And Achish said unto David, Know thou surely that thou shalt go out with me to battle, thou and thy men. David said to Achish, Surely thou should know what thy servant can do. And Achish said to David, Therefore will I make thee keeper of mine head forever. Now Samuel was dead, which we just read, and all Israel had lamented, to him, lamented him and buried him in Ramah, even in his own city. And David had put, though, put away those, and Saul had put away those that had familiar spirits and the witches out of the land. And the Philistines gathered themselves together and came and pitched in Shunan. And Saul gathered all Israel together and they pitched in Gilboa. And when Saul saw the host of the Philistines, he was afraid and his heart greatly trembled. Mm. Amen. In times past, Saul could go, Saul could go to Samuel and Samuel could get instructions from God on how to handle the situation. Oh right. my, my Lord. Amen. He had a pillar. He had, he had a source he could go to, but now this source was gone. What do we do? And so he was afraid. Amen. He trembled greatly, the Bible says. My Lord. Verse number six, and when Saul inquired of the Lord, the mm. Lord answered him. I'll try to go to God myself. And God did not answer him. Neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by the prophets. Then said Saul unto his servant, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her and inquire of her. And his servant said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. And Saul disguised himself and put on other raiment, and he went and two men with him, and they came to the woman by night, and he said, I pray thee, divine unto me by the, by the familiar spirit, and bring me him up, whom I shall name unto thee. 
And the woman said unto him, Behold, thou knowest what Saul hath done, how he hath cut off those that have familiar spirits and the wizards out of the land. Wherefore then layest thou a snare for my life to cause me to die? And Saul swear to her by the Lord, saying, As the Lord liveth, there shall no punishment happen to thee for this thing. Mm -hmm. Then said the woman, Whom shall I bring up from to thee? And he said, Bring me up, Seth. Let's stop. Mm -hmm. So again, Saul had caused those who were uh, involved in sorcery and witchcraft and so forth to be put out of the land. Mm -hmm. He cut them off. But now in, his, in this desperate state, he was so desperate to get help that he went to the same ones, went back to the same ones that he understood to be wrong, contrary to the purpose and plan of God. And he began to seek them for help. My Lord. Amen. And so he asked the woman to bring up Samuel. Verse number 12. And when the woman saw Samuel, she cried with a loud voice, and the woman spake to Saul, saying, Why hast thou deceived me? For thou art Saul. And the king said unto her, Be not afraid, for what sawest thou? And the woman said unto Saul, I saw gods ascending out of the earth. And he said unto her, What form is he of? And she said, An old man cometh up, and he is covered with a mantle. And Saul perceived that it was Samuel. Mm. And he stooped with his face to the ground and bowed himself. Samuel said to Saul, Why hast thou disquieted me to bring me up? And Saul answered, I am sore distressed, for the Philistines make war against me, and God has departed from me, and answers me no more, neither by prophets nor by dreams. Therefore I have called thee, that thou mayest make known unto me what I shall do. I need help. <laughs> my Lord, I oh my. I need direction. Mm. Amen. Verse 17, the Lord hath done to him. Verse 16, then said Samuel, wherefore then dost thou ask of me, seeing the Lord is departed from thee, and is become thine enemy? And the Lord hath done to him as he spake by me, for the Lord hath rent the kingdom out of thine hand and given it to thy neighbor, even to David. Because thou obeyest not the voice of the Lord, nor executest this fierce wrath against Am 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 Amalek, therefore hath the Lord done this thing unto thee this day. Moreover, the Lord will also deliver Israel with thee into the hand of the Philistines. And tomorrow shall thou and thy sons be with me. The Lord also shall deliver the host of Israel into the hands of the Philistines. Then Saul fell straightway all along on the earth and was sore afraid because of the words of Samuel. And there was no strength in him, for he had eaten no bread all the day nor all the night. And the woman came unto Saul and saw that he was sore troubled and said unto him, Behold, thine handmaid hath obeyed thy voice, and I have put my life in my hand and have hearkened unto thy words, which thou hast spaken unto me. Amen. Now therefore I pray thee, hearken thou also unto the voice of thine handmaid, and let me set up more sore bread before thee and eat, that thou mayest have strength when thou goest on thy way. But he refused and said, I will not eat. But his servants together with the woman compelled him, and he hearkened unto their voice. And he arose from the earth and sat upon the bed. The woman had a fat calf in the house, and she hasted and killed it, and took flour and kneaded it, and did bake unleavened bread, therefore. And she brought it before Saul, before his servants, and they did eat. Then they rose up and went away that night. All right. Saul, who started off so humble, Right, right. Saul, who started off, amen, carefully seeking God in direction, following the, the, the uh, direction and instructions given to him by Saul, uh, Samuel. But along the way, he got kind of uh, bold and arrogant and cocky and started doing things his own way. To the point where God departed from him. And Lord. now he was desperately seeking God. Mm -hmm. And God was nowhere to be found. Mm -hmm. Amen. Now, there's a little controversy, and I've heard uh, different, even Church of God people, have different opinions about this, this image uh, of Samuel that came up. And, and I'm not here to argue one way or the other. Whether it was actually Samuel or not, that's not even my point. But the instruction they person gave was true. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
Amen. And it happened just according to their word. Saul and his sons. Amen. Died. Amen. And Israel was taken by the Philistines. Amen. So they experienced change just like you and I have. And like we'll continue to experience down through the remaining days of our life, there will be change. But it's important that you and I respond to that change properly. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Amen. 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 You feel vulnerable? We all may feel vulnerable to a degree. No one likes change. I'm comfortable the way things are. Amen. But change is going to happen, and we need to respond to it properly. Amen. 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 Turn over to Joshua. Oh, Lord, help us, my God. First chapter of Joshua. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Oh, Lord. How long did Moses lead the children of Israel? Forty years. He was a shepherd, so to speak, for 40 long years. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Faithful. Yes. My God. Amen. Mm. We can turn to Numbers, and it talks about how God speaks about, I believe it's in the 12th chapter, I need to look it up specifically, but in Numbers, it talks about how God would speak to, to certain prophets and visions and dreams and so forth. He said, my, my servant Moses is not so. He's not like the other prophets, and the prophets are the faithful ones. Right. But Moses is not like them. Mm -hmm. them. Moses is faithful in all my house. Mm -hmm. says, him I speak to uh, face to face or apparently yeah. I have a closer relationship to Moses than I do the other prophets mm -hmm. amen so this was that Moses who time and time again when, when the children of Israel would, would go off or, or depart from following God he would, he would intercess and he would intercede on behalf of them and say God don't destroy them and and Lord, spare him. And what would the Egyptians say? This was that same Moses who was dealing with this rebellious people. And now he's gone. That's, 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 a, that's a major blow. The children of Israel now yeah. have to deal with change. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Now after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, it came to pass that the Lord spake unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, Moses, my servant, is dead. Oh, Lord. My now God. therefore arise, go over this Jordan, thou and all this people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. Every place that the sole of your foot should tread upon, that have I given unto you, as I said unto Moses. From the wilderness of, the Le of this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euphrates, all the land of the Hittites, and up unto the great sea toward the going down of the sun shall be your coast. There shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of thy life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. Oh, I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. Be strong and of good courage. For unto this people shalt thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Lord. Only be thou strong and very courageous that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law which Moses my servant commanded thee. Yeah. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper whithersoever thou goest. This book of the law shall not depart, depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein, for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and then thou shalt have good success. My Lord, my have God. not I commanded thee? Be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Mm. Thank the Lord. That had to be a comforting word to Joshua. Mm -hmm. 
Because Joshua was there hand in hand with Moses. And no doubt he was able to, to somewhat sense or even see it and maybe, maybe even feel some of the pressure that Moses was under. Amen. And he could no doubt sense the responsibility. And perhaps he felt to some degree inadequate. Mm. And no doubt the people themselves felt vulnerable because changes. We've always had Moses to, to guide us. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> For 40 only years. Mm -hmm. So some people in their 40s and under, this is all they've ever known. Right, right. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yes. And there may have been some saying, well, you know, Joshua's a good guy, but he's no Moses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And well, perhaps he wasn't. But the key to this whole thing is that Joshua understood that God is yet with me. <laughs> Amen. 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 It, 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 wasn't, it wasn't Moses per se, it's that God was with Moses. Yes. Amen. And it's not Joshua per se, it's that God was with Joshua. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. And right. saying to God, this is these are the words that we need to look at from time to time, especially now that we're vulnerable because we have experienced change. We need to review these scriptures right through here in Joshua from time to time because we need to know that God is yet with us. <laughs> amen. My Lord. Amen. And we can take courage. With it. Yeah. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes. Lord. People come, people go. Amen. Change is inevitable, but God remains the same. Yeah. Amen. Thank, God. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 My God, help us, Lord. Verse 9 again, have not I commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Oh, God. Be not afraid. Yes. Yeah. My God. Neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord yeah. thy God yeah. is with thee. Amen. Whithersoever thou goest. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Take Amen. courage in that. Take Amen. courage in that. Amen. Amen. Let's yeah. back over to New Testament. The Lord. Luke's gospel. So this is after the 24th chapter. This is after the rest of the death of, of, of Christ. He, he died on the cross now, and they buried him. And there are some here, two men in particular, who are struggling with yeah. the events of the day. Let's look at them for a few moments. Yeah. 24th chapter, start reading verse number 13. Mm -hmm. And behold, two of them went that same day to a village called Emmaus, which was from Jerusalem, about three score furlongs. Yeah. And they talked together of all these things which had happened. And it came to pass that while they communed together in reason, Jesus himself drew near and went with them, but their eyes were holding that they should not know him. And he said unto them, what manner of communications are these that ye have one to another as ye walk and are sad? And the one of them whose name was Cleopas answering said unto him, Are thou only a stranger in Jerusalem and hast not known the things which are come to pass there in these days? And he said unto them, What things? And they said unto him, Concerning Jesus of Nazareth, which was a prophet mighty indeed in word before God and all the people, and how the chief priests and our rulers delivered him to be condemned to death and have crucified him. Right, he's, right. He's dead. Mm. But we trusted, or in other words, we had hoped. But we trusted that it had been he which should have redeemed Israel. And beside all this, today is the third day since these things were done. Yea, and certain women also of our company made us astonished, which were early at a sepulcher. And when they found not his body, they came saying that, they had seen, they had also seen a, a vision of angels, which said that he was alive. And certain of them which were with us went to the sepulchre and found it even so, as the women had said, but him they saw not. This conversation that they were having basically was talking about their, the current events that have taken place there yeah. in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And how... Three years prior to this, three and a half years prior to this, at some point during his ministry, these two heard and became followers of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And they witnessed, no doubt, his miracles and his preaching, and, and they were, this, this is it, this is the Messiah, this is him, this is the one the prophet spoke of. My Lord. 
then a change took place. Three days prior to this conversation on the road to Emmaus. My oh, Lord, yes. The one we had placed so much confidence in, our pillar, the one we were leaning on, the one we were turning to for direction, oh, Lord, he died. Mm. No doubt they felt vulnerable. Like, what do we do now? That's right. What do we do now? Mm. Oh, Lord. Moses was great, but, but this Jesus was better than Moses. Samuel and Elijah and Elisha, they were wonderful. David was a wonderful king and all these different things, but this Jesus was better than all of them. And we thought he was Messiah, but now he's gone. And we feel vulnerable because of the change that has taken place. Oh, Lord. Amen. Amen. Oh, Lord, what do we do now? Who, who do we turn to now for direction? All right. My Lord. My Lord. Amen. 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 That's what their thoughts were. Mm -hmm. Verse 25. Mm -hmm. Then he said unto them, O fools, and slow of heart to believe all that the prophets have spoken. Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And beginning at Moses and all the prophets, he expounded unto them in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. Mm -hmm. And they drew nigh unto the village whether they went, and he made as though he would have gone further, but they constrained him, saying, Abide with us. For it is toward evening, the day is far spent. And he went in to tarry with them. And it came to pass, that as he sat at meat with them, he took bread and blessed it and break and gave to them. Amen. And their eyes were my Amen. Amen. And they knew him. Amen. Amen. And he vanished out of their sight. <laughs> oh, what, what, a, what an encouragement. Mm. Oh, how I, your, the hearts had to rejoice. They went from, a, from the lowest of lows to the highest of highs, so to speak. My Lord. <laughs> oh, to know that Jesus is still with me. Amen. We thought he had departed. We thought he was gone. We had, in so many words, lost hope. But Jesus is still here. Yeah. Amen. 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 Saints, people beyond our control, we're going to come, we're going to go. Change takes place, but God remains the same. Amen. Yes, amen. Amen. And yes. that had to be such an encouragement to them. Mm. But they heard that and saw and recognized that Jesus is still here. Verse 32 says, and they said one to another, did not our heart burn within us while, we, while he talked with us, by the way, and while he opened to us the scriptures? And they rose up the same hour and returned to Jerusalem and found the eleven gathered together and them that were with them. I mean, they was far spent, but they didn't care. They were too excited. Can't sleep anyhow. <laughs> Say, the Lord is risen indeed. Yes, my God. And yes. they appeared to Simon and they told what things mm. were done in the way and how he was known of them mm. in breaking of bread. Amen. That had to be a wonderful thing, a wonderful experience. Amen. Amen. Turn over. To 1 Corinthians. We're not going to be much longer. May get you out here early this today. 1 Corinthians 11 chapter. What do you want one verse? Verse number one. Paul said, be ye followers of me, even as I also am of Christ. Yeah. Now, I think we sometimes, maybe, I, I probably have to, maybe I'll do it again, but when you look at this scripture, it may not say quite what we think it's saying. I've always taken this scripture in the way I've interpreted it in times past, and I don't think I've interpreted it properly. I've always said, when Paul is saying, be you followers of me, even as I also am of Christ, kind of saying, as I follow Christ, then then you can, you know, follow behind me. That's not really what he's saying. Mm -hmm. That word follower means more of an uh, imitator. So he's saying, I want you to follow my example. Mm -hmm. Imitate the way I am following Christ. So be ye imitators or be you followers or follow my example. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even as I also am of Christ. Amen. In other words, I am imitating or I am following Christ. Mm -hmm. I am trying to duplicate in my body what I see in Christ. My Lord. And I need you to do the same. Oh, wow. 
Amen. Amen. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Again, now I've always interpreted, I've always interpreted in times past that Paul is saying, you make sure I follow Christ and you follow behind me. That's not altogether what he's saying. Paul said, I've been watching Christ. I've been seeing, the, I, not in the literal sense, but I have observed Christ and I'm, I'm imitating him. And I need you to be followers or imitators of me likewise. You see the way I have walked before God. I want you to walk the same way. My Lord, my God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be ye followers or imitators of me. Follow my example. Yeah. Even as I also am of Christ. I am, I am an imitator or follower. So, with that in mind, Paul was in some sense saying, I, I, I don't altogether want you to see me, but I want you to see Christ. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and imitate me in the sense that I am trying to be an imitation of Christ. Mm -hmm. My Lord. Amen. Follow that example. Amen. I think I want them. Uh, Second Timothy. You know what? Turn to first, back to first Corinthians. The third chapter. Bible says one verse, third chapter of verse 11, for other foundation. You see the foundation? Foundation is something that's, that's, that's stable, mm -hmm. that's secure, doesn't change, doesn't move. Mm -hmm. It's always there. Mm -hmm. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid, I'm sorry, which is Jesus Christ. For other foundation can no man lay than that is laid is Jesus Christ. Everything else changes. Mm -hmm. Everything else shifts. My Lord. Amen. People beyond their own control, they change. They die. They move on. They relocate. Mm -hmm. Amen. Their body stops functioning. They, can, they can't do what they used to do. That's Change it. happens. Yes, yes. But there's a foundation in Christ Jesus that never changes. And what Paul was saying in 1 Corinthians there, he said, listen, I need for you to be like him. Follow his example because he never changes. Amen. 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 Something that is sure, that's permanent. Amen. We won't turn there, but you, turn, you can read it in your own time in the seventh chapter of Hebrews. It talks about the priests in the Old Testament. How their priesthood, it was a constantly changing priesthood. Because men, they died. They died. Yeah, my God, yes. Amen. It wasn't their fault. They're human. That's right. My God. Amen. But they went on to say in the seventh chapter of Hebrews about how Christ brought an unchangeable priesthood. Glory. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because he never dies. Amen. Praise to God. And he's forever at the right hand of the Father for yes. intercessions on your behalf and my behalf. Amen. Amen. My God. Amen. An unchangeable priesthood. Thank the Lord. Amen. 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 Mm. And that same principle is what we're trying to apply here today. Mm. Amen. Help us, Lord. Good brothers and good sisters, they come and go. Not because they don't love us anymore. It's just, it's just the way life is. Amen. 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 So we need to be anchored to something that is sure. Yes. My God. We Amen. need to, after we're attached ourselves to a foundation that is certain and unchangeable. Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. It's Jesus Christ. Yes. Amen. 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 <laughs> Amen. Praise God. Be encouraged, saints. Yes. Amen. Be encouraged. Mm. Amen. God is still with us. Matthew's gospel is our last scripture. The Matthew 28. This is one of the last messages Jesus sent to the disciples. 
Start reading at verse number 16. And he was bound ready to ascend to heaven. And before he left, he's like, I want to give you one last message. I want to encourage you one last time. My Lord. My God. This is what he said. My Lord. Matthew 28, begin reading at verse 16. Then the eleven disciples went away into Galilee, into a mountain where Jesus had appointed them. When they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And here's the last part. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. My Lord, yes. Thank you. Yes, help us, Lord. Amen. While this world remains, amen, God is willing to be with us if we're willing to be with him. Amen. Yes. As long as this world, or if for some reason that we don't make it to the end of the world and, and we die prior to that, well, God is saying, I will be with you always. Mm. Always. Always. And that's really all that matters. As good as some of our preachers have been and our leaders have been and good as some of the saints have been and you say to yourself when they pass away, what are we going to do without them? Mm, that's, that's true. That's yes, that's how you feel. Mm -hmm. What do we do now? You feel so vulnerable oh, Lord. because of the change that's taken place. Right, right, right. What do I do now? Oh, Lord. Amen. Amen. If, if, if God dies, then you have reason to be concerned. <laughs> right. Amen. As long as God is alive, alive, he's going to live forever. Amen. You and I can take courage. My Lord. Amen. You can take courage. Yes. Amen. 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 Do you feel vulnerable? Sure. Do we like change all of a sudden? No, we still don't like change. Mm -hmm. But we can take confidence. Amen. Like Joshua did. Don't be afraid. Amen. I'm with you all this. To be encouraged, saints. Amen. 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 There'll be times when we'll, we'll, we'll have our tears and, and we'll scratch our head. We won't know what to do. That, that's going to happen. My Lord. Amen. Amen. But, but, but long, as long as we have God walk inside hand in hand with us, Amen. you and I will be okay. Amen. We'll be okay. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Let us stand. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 One oh eight. Amen. Though I walk in days unknown, I am never left alone. For the Lord will not forsake me while I do his will. Oh yeah, my God. Whatever may be time. He is walking by my side, and by this I know he loves me still. He is with me still, yes, he is with me still. He is with me still, yes, he is with me still. In the sunshine or the shadow, he is with me And the clouds are hanging low When the waves are beating on me And the night is chill oh, In his presence in the storm oh, Why it's oh, all my soul's alarm my God. And I know that he is with me still Busy cares of life, 
sweet and clear, whispered words of love and cheer, and I know that he is with me still. Oh, he is with me still. Yes, he is with me still. In the sunshine or the Uncertain. It's not altogether a bad thing as long as we draw nigh to the right person. Right. That's right. That's right. Amen. Amen. Draw nigh to God. Yes. Amen. Amen. You don't. You want. To, you want some sense of vulnerability anyhow. You don't want to be so confident in yourself that you can manage life without God. We don't. We don't want that. We don't want to be that proud. Amen. We want to. We want to acknowledge and understand. Yes. I need help. Yes. Amen. Amen. My God. We need help. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because I. I can't. I've never been this way before. I need someone to guide me. Amen. Amen. So we draw nigh to God. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 All right. Thank you, saints. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Any, any announcements? Praise the Lord. Came here this morning.